If you are looking for a new job opportunity and started preparing for the interview, usually you specify what technologies you have worked on in your resume and then hopefully you prepare and brushing up on those technologies and even try to learn new technologies for your next job opportunity. Usually it's a pretty stressful process because there are so many technologies out there and you don't know what they are going to ask and you try to learn as much as possible. But there are few things that you need to understand so that it doesn't need to be that stressful. Usually when we apply for jobs, we think from the candidate perspective like, okay, I learned these many technologies and possibly I will answer all the questions that the interviewer is going to ask and then I'll succeed the interview. But you need to take a step back and think a little bit differently. Instead of thinking from the candidate's perspective, you need to think from the interviewer's perspective. So usually in companies, they have a team of people who talk about what is the criteria they uh, follow to select the candidate and what are the qualities that they look for in the candidate. So you need to think from the interviewer's perspective so that you can attempt the interviews in much better way and then increase the chance of getting hired. I have worked in various companies and I have been taking interviews for almost 12-13 years and I have been part of the team who decides okay what are the qualities that we need to look for in the candidate. So I'm going to share kind of an insider view of the tech interviews. Okay. Tip number one, interviewers know one cannot simply learn every technology out there. Most of the times while taking the technical interviews, the interviewers are also kind of a developers, tech leads and architects and they also know that there are so many technologies out there and it is next to impossible to master everything. Okay, Even though you mentioned you are a full stack developer, you can do front end development, back end development and know a bit about DevOps and all. Everyone knows that most of the times even the good developer are sort of a T shaped developers which means they know a bit more about few technologies and then has some basic idea on a lot of technologies. So you don't need to be a master in all the technologies out there. You can narrow it down to a set of technologies like probably you are really good at one pro programming language and then you have some basic idea in a couple of other languages. Similarly, you are really good in one framework and then you have some basic idea in other uh, frameworks. That is good enough. It is good if you want to learn and then improve your skill sets, but don't completely take on the pressure of you need to learn every technology out there before uh, attempting the interviews. Tip number two, give that one magical answer that gets you the job. Usually the first 15-20 minutes is kind of almost decide whether you are going to through the interview or not. Interviewer asks you a question about some concept or something like that and if you really know about that concept, grab that opportunity of giving that fantastic answer that make the interviewer realize that you have very strong understanding of that concept and you also explain the pros and cons of the approach because there is no silver bullet solutions in software development. Every approach comes with some pros and cons. So you give all that context explaining that okay in this situation I am going to choose this approach and these are the pros and these are the cons of this approach and if you are even understanding how this internally works try to explain how it internally works. That will convey the interviewer that you are not just following along and then copying code snippets here and there and getting things done. It will convey you know what you are talking about, you really understood what's going on and the important thing is it will make the interviewer realize that it is easy for you to learn next thing if required. So grab that opportunity and give that one really really good answer and even for the next 10 questions if you say I don't know still there is a good chance that you will succeed in the interview. Tip number three, it is perfectly all right to say I don't know. As I mentioned in the previous points, interviewers know that you cannot learn every technology out there and when interviewer asks you a question which you don't know the answer, you can simply say I don't know. It is perfectly okay to say that. Instead of simply agreeing that you don't know, don't throw the buzzwords on them. Okay. 
if the interviewer is a skilled person they don't take much time to figure out whether you are simply throwing the buzzwords without having a clue on what you are talking about okay so you can say i don't know and then you can attempt to give a point of view okay so if they ask you to explain some concept you can say i don't know but if i have to think about how it works probably this is how it it, it may work you can share your point of view and then that's perfectly okay so in fact it's going to give you some positive uh, opinion on you you are being honest when you don't know something you are being honest and then say i don't know tip number 4 the next question depends on your previous answer usually the interviewer they have their own project work and they are busy and then they come to take the interview and they might not spend too much time going through your resume and then prepare what kind of a questions they want to ask and all okay so most of the times they start with some question around what you worked on and then depending on the answer that you give they come up with the next question so use words very carefully because you seem if you simply try to throw buzzwords and the next question will be on the same buzzwords and if you don't know the answer it's easy to uh, for them to figure out you don't know what you are talking about you are simply throwing the buzzwords so choose the words very carefully while answering and then don't try to use uh, topics that you are not that familiar with you can say okay this is how it might be working using so and so concept but i don't know really uh, that much about that concept you can be upfront about it instead of just throwing the passwords okay and for example let's say somebody ask you a question in java interview or something like that and then they ask you how you can improve performance and then you can say okay i will look for query optimization and things like that but if you are not really sure about how to use threads and all don't simply say that okay i'll use thread pools and i'll do some magic and the guess what is the next question would be on yes it's it will be on how do you handle thread pools and all that then when you don't know about thread pools and all don't use that word thread pools okay so use the words wisely because that's what they are going to ask the next question on okay tip number 5 it's not all about your tech skills usually when we prepare for the technical interviews we mainly focus on the technical skills we try to learn as much as possible as many concepts as possible and you brush up on your technical things right but whether you succeed in the interview or not is not entirely depends on your technical skills alone there are many other things that the interviewer look for okay one such point is ability or willingness to learn new things let's say they are hiring you today and you specified you know java you know uh, spring or some other framework but it's not that you are going to work on java and spring framework for the rest of the life right for the next project you might want to pick up some other framework and some other library so it's not all about you already know it's about are you willing to learn new things do you have the ability to learn new things so that is a key skill that the people look for so convey that you are willing to learn new things and even convey that you have strong foundation and learning a new thing is not really that uh, difficult for you you need to convey that and then you should be a really good listener so in many uh, interviews that i personally experienced like uh, in in the case of system design interviews where they are going to say uh, okay this is the high level problem and in without the interviewer completing his uh, complete question some people start answering okay i'll use react on the front end i'll use uh, uh, ruby on rails on the back end and i'll deploy my application on the cloud even without the interviewer completing his full requirement specification okay that's not good you got to let the interviewer uh, give full details and then wait, uh, wait for him or her to complete their uh, question so that you have the complete information if you are not uh, sure about the entire requirements ask questions so you need to listen a little bit more what they are uh, trying to say okay and being open for feedback is really really critical sometimes 
you have some kind of understanding on a concept and the interviewer might have a completely different understanding on the same concept and when you explain your point of view they may disagree but that's okay it's two different opinions on the subject and maybe uh, both of you are wrong or both of you are right but trying to convey in a different uh, point of view just take the feedback and then you can say okay this is what my current understanding is probably i am wrong i need to go back and then recheck again as simple as that use your words wisely while expressing your strong opinions see we are all developers and we have our favorite frameworks favorite programming languages and also we have some strong opinions on few things that we don't like for example i came across people who are in love with functional programming and then the first thing they say is i hate object oriented programming i hate java i hate javascript things like that see these these strong opinions might not really help you in fact they might reduce your chance of getting selected by 20% because the interviewer might be really loving that object oriented programming and interviewer really might be liking what the programming language that you hate the most okay so when you are bluntly saying that i hate oop i hate javascript or something like that you are not really helping yourself to get through the interview instead you can you can put it in a nicer way like given a chance i prefer working with a functional programming language as opposed to say oop sucks okay so use wisely your words while expressing strong opinions in addition to those five tips here is the bonus tip if unfortunately if you fail in an interview do not think it's all because of your lack of skills there can be n number of reasons why you might not have selected for that round okay so it's good if you take up this failure as a uh, stepping stone and then move forward and learn and brush up on new skills but do not assume it's all because of your lack of skills only okay let me share my personal experience a long time ago i attended an interview where the interviewer asked me what is the difference between java and spring then i was like what the hell you think we write in a spring boot application or a spring application it's java the question doesn't make any sense to me so there are people who ask such senseless questions and they may reject you also because they may not understand what you are trying to say so do not take every failure as your own uh, lack of skills okay it is good if you want to learn new technologies but my recommendation is to first be really good at what are the technologies that you are already using and remember that one magical solution that will really really works for most of the times you give one good answer that conveys you know what you are talking about you know your fundamentals and you are good at learning new things that will increase a chance by many fold that you will get through the interview okay so good luck and if you want to learn more such tips you can watch my videos on youtube channel siva labs okay thank you bye bye